Hey Pixies, today we're doing a St. Patrick's Day manicure with Double Dip. It is Rosewater, Golden Secret, Leviathan, and um, Little Angel. <laughs> I couldn't remember the white one. So I already have my peel base on. It is completely dry. I do have a discount code for Double Dip. It will be down below. It's Pixie 20. Gets you 20% off everything except the mystery boxes, but I also have a special mystery box code and a code for the Bellavina drill. I am using the Double Dip Gel Liquid, so I applied my gel base and I poured rose water over my thumb and my pinky. That is going to be my base layer for Golden Secret because Golden Secret is a little bit transparent. So I just wanted that nice nude base under the gold just to kind of fill in any gaps. And um, then I only have to do one layer of the actual glitter, which helps cut down on bulkiness. So all of these products will be linked down below, but I am just giving it a little shake to get those gold pieces to come up to the top. I am not usually a huge gold fan. However, this dip I've used three or four times now. I absolutely love this gold dip. It's got these little shards of gold in them, in it. <laughs> so I'm applying that gel base and then I'm going to lay my finger into Golden Secret and clean up the cuticle area, move around any glitter pieces from my cuticle and sidewall area, make sure everything's laying nice and flat before I cure it. For my bases, I cure them for 30 seconds in between applications. Now I am going to go in with Leviathan. That color is only going on my middle finger. So I'm going to apply the gel base, pour over for the first dip, clean up the cuticle area, cure it for 30 seconds, and then I come back and repeat that, except I lay my finger into it for the second dip. Now for Little Angel, which is going to go in our index and our ring fingers. Little Angel was part of the Valentine's Day kit and it has quickly become one of my favorite whites. I absolutely love the beautiful glitter, super fine and it is just gorgeous. So I had to use that again for my St. Patrick's Day manicure. So I'm just gonna be repeating the gel steps, applying the gel base, pouring the dip powder over, for the first layer, dipping into it for the second, curing in between for 30 seconds.
when I am doing a gel manicure with dip powder, I encapsulate with gel products. So I'm applying a layer of gel base to each of my nails. I will cure it for 30 seconds, apply a layer of gel top coat, cure it for 60 seconds, and do my buffing, filing, and reshaping right on top of that. I have buffed, filed, and reshaped. I got out my Bellavina gel line art sets, and this dark glitter green color is from their Christmas set. I'm applying a thin line to my jelly stamper, and I am going to do kind of like a French tip on the two white nails. I use this as a guide, and I go in then, and I touch up with the actual brush from the gel line art bottle and that was because it has glitter in it. I wanted a little bit more glitter than what transferred from the jelly stamper onto my nail and I also just wanted to have that as a guide to use. Then I will flash cure for about 15 to 20 seconds. Now I'm going to use the gold from the original gel line art set and just go right beneath that green just so it's like a double line if that makes sense. So I'm just going right underneath and doing a thin line of the gold and I will flash cure that. Now I'm going to do some clovers. So I'm getting out this bright green from that original line art set and I'm going to use a dotting tool to do some clovers. They are just like the hearts that I did in my Born Pretty gel manicure for Valentine's Day. You do two dots side by side and then kind of drag the product down into a V to make the heart. So since I am doing four leaf clovers, I am going to do four of each of those and then a little stem. And once I have that done, I do flash cure each nail.
I did a full cure of 60 seconds with when all of my nail art was done to fully cure all of it so it doesn't run or smear whenever I'm applying my top coats. Now I'm applying the double dip gel base and I'm going to apply that to each of the fingers and then cure for 30 seconds. The reason I do the gel base before the gel top coat is because that dip powder is super smooth right now and gel top coat wants a tacky surface so that gel base will give the gel top coat something tacky to hold on to so we don't get any peeling at the corners. Now I'm applying the gel top coat and for my thumb what I do is I apply the gel top coat to my thumb and do a flash cure of 10 seconds and then I go in on the rest of my nails and do the full cure of 60 seconds. The reason I do that is because the thumb has a tendency for the product to run to the side a little bit but if I do that flash cure it's already set enough that it won't do that. totally done i absolutely loved this manicure the clovers were so so cute and i'm going to apply some cutic oil while i do that if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it helps youtube recommend it to others if you have any questions or suggestions for videos leave a comment below or find me on instagram at dipping pixie make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on i have new videos every monday and thursday that's it for this one guys and i will see you in the next one